celebrate is going green. Seen as Deborah Farrick is in Manhattan now for the big party. Hi there, Deborah. Hey there, Heidi. What we can tell you is that Times Square is definitely ready. The stages are set, the restaurants are packed with balloons and champagne, and all the stores are selling great things like this. And you can get them for just a simple song. Now, a lot of tourists are already packing into the area. The Brogan family came all the way from Texas just to be here today, and you are so ready. I'm incredibly amazed. First of all, you have your list. Tell me about this list you made. It just tells us the best place to stand and the sound is going to be at Broadway and 7th and the stage. So when you came here, there was no kidding around. You knew you were going to do this right. Yes. We did. We wanted to be prepared. And you are also dressed properly. You've got all your layers, right? Tell me, tell me some of the things that you're wearing. Well, I have on three shirts and then I have on a hoodie and a scarf and a down jacket and two pairs of pants and so I'm ready. <laughs> what have you brought to eat? Well, we have hand warmers and Pringles and beef jerky and just everything you can think of that won't perish. And so you should be able to stand here for at least the next 13 hours. Uh, what about you? Now you brought those hats with you. You did not. You didn't want to take a chance that maybe Times Square was not going to be <laughs> having any of these hats. Correct. We brought them from home. All right. <laughs> and what do you think is the most exciting thing about being here tonight? Um, probably just watching the uh, singers perform and watching the ball drop for the first time live. All right. And what do you want to tell your friends when you get back to Texas? <laughs> we were here on the 100th anniversary, and this is all for just 60 seconds. <laughs> well, you've got a good lead up into it. Well, Brogans, have a wonderful new year, a great 2008. Thank you for joining Thank us here on CNN. And I don't want to tell you, the light is sort of just coming over the building, and it's going to make it a little bit difficult to see, but just behind me, there's a building there that says Toshiba. You may be able to make out a 2008 sign along with the pole. That's where the ball is going to drop. It is friendly. Heidi, as you mentioned, 95% more fuel efficient, or more efficient, I should say, energy efficient. It's going to be a huge cascade of crystals and lights and mirrors and strobes. And you know, even if you don't want to be here, even if this is not your idea of a good time, well, when it comes close to midnight, a lot of people sort of reach for that television set just to see the ball drop. It's sort of the official entry of New Year's here. Certainly, at least in New York, we like to think the world, but that's just us. We're sort of provincial that way. Anyway, reporting live from Times Square, I'll you back to you in the newsroom. Hey, Deborah, before we let you go, what's the temperature feel like there? I mean, it looks like the sun is shining down pretty nicely. Well, given that the sun just came out, it's already warmed up about 10 degrees. Oh, good. But Times Square is a really tricky area because it's going to get really, really cold. And obviously, the longer you're out here, the colder it gets. And then once the wind begins to blow, that's going to be an issue, too. So luckily, you will be packed in with hundreds of people who will be your best friends, at least for the night. So uh, that will at least help in the warmth. So the gals from Texas definitely have it right. Down jackets and beef jerky. You can't go wrong. <laughs>